I'm a bumblebee, bumblebee's my name. How do you do? Come and meet my friend, come and play with me. You can play too. Sing with us a happy song. You're doing great. Keep singing along. You and me both just buzzing along. Hello to you. How are things with you today? I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to tonight because Peek, Boo and I are going on an adventure. Sometimes, though, adventures can get a bit scary. Don't be afraid to be frightened or frightened of being afraid. Everyone's frightened of something. No matter what they say Don't let being scared get you worried Cos when all the worrying's done You'll see it's okay to be scared or afraid It happens to everyone Talk to your friends when you're frightened Tell all your friends and we'll see Everyone's frightened or scared of different kinds of things. Don't let being scared get you worried, cos when all the worrying's done, you'll see it's OK to be scared or afraid. It happens to everyone. Do you get scared sometimes? Sometimes I get scared in the dark. Monster Blue scared me. I hate spiders, but I try to be nice to them. I'm scared of big dogs. Snakes. Well, it's OK. Everyone gets scared at one time or another. Come and see what we've got in our garden. <laughs> Isn't this a nice idea? Having a midnight feast outside is going to be great fun. Yeah, all those yummy things that we got ready this afternoon. But it's a long time until midnight. I know how you feel, but it's too soon to eat our midnight feast yet. That's right. The sun has just gone down. It's ages to go until it's midnight. I am a bit hungry, though. Well, Peek, you'll just have to wait. No, oh, can't we start our midnight feast now? It wouldn't be a proper midnight feast if we ate it now. Look, I'll go inside and make some fruity bumble shakes. That will fill us up until midnight. Yay! Yeah, great idea, Bumble. There's nothing quite like a fruity bumble shake. The yummiest ones are the shakes Bumble makes With strawberries and raspberries and honey and ice Bumble's fruity Bumble shakes are very, very nice Bumble's fruity Bumble shakes are very, very nice Very, 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 very nice There's nothing quite like a fruity Bumble shake the yummiest ones are the ones Bumble makes With strawberries and raspberries and honey and ice Bumble's fruity Bumble shakes are very, very nice Bumble's fruity Bumble shakes are very, very nice Very, 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 very nice Gee, Bumble's been a long time. It's nice out here, but it is awfully quiet and a bit scary. 
<laughs> Let's eat something while we're waiting. Then we won't be so scared. Well, all right, but not too much. <laughs> oh. Oh. Eek! What's the matter? I got a fright. What was it? I don't know. It's just oh, so no. scary. Have something to eat and then you'll feel better. No, I, I don't want anything. I want to go inside. I've had enough of this midnight feast stuff. Oh. Well, I'm coming with you. Oh. <laughs> Now it's changing into a basketball. Kei te huri hai pahi ki te poro i nai nai. Three circles make a snowman. E toru porafita te hangaia o te tāne hukarere. Lots of circles. Naha na porafita. Circle, Porafita. <laughs> What's the matter with you two? We got scared. But you were only just outside. But it was dark out there, and there were noises. But Boo was scareder than me. You were just as scared as... Kia ora. Fishy, have you come to join us in the midnight feast? Because if you have... Kawewa, I heard a bit of a rumpus, and I thought I'd come and check it out. We were going to have a midnight feast, but we got scared of the noises outside. Well, not really scared. We thought it might be nicer to have the feast in here. You were as scared as I was, Peek. Oh, you probably heard a doo-doo, an owl calling out, or saw a kiwi passing by, but it certainly wouldn't have been a tanifa. A tanifa? What's that? Oh, tanifa are tricky and frightening creatures, but they only live in our imaginations. But perhaps there really was a tanifa outside. <laughs> I don't think so, Peek. Tanifa like to live in watery places, like my pond. They're very mean and frightening. Oh. Oh, but but sometimes, but not often, they can be very nice. Oh. Listen well and take care and beware of the tanifa. Tanifa's a tricky chap, he can change his shape While you take a nap or as you sleep he will come on by And he might frighten you in the twinkling of an eye But now and then he can be quite nice He'll help you out not once but twice If your boat is sinking far out at sea He'll take you home in time for tea But this doesn't happen very often Listen well and take care and beware of the tanifa. They pretend, aren't they, Fishy? Aye, Bumble, they are. But when I was a young fish, I wasn't so sure. Why? What happened, Fishy? Oh, it's getting too late to tell you now, Peek. Come over to my pond in the morning and I'll tell you the whole story. And my 
my family comes from Christchurch, and I live in New Zealand. Kia ora kotonara, ahai no Aotearoa, hai kaki te. Hello, my name is Nick Chai from Somalia, and I live in New Zealand. Hey, mara aina jahwai, Somalia ki mane, New Zealand na tuka na hai hata. New Zealand is made up of lots of different people. The Midnight Feast wasn't a great success. Perhaps we'll try again some other time. I can't wait to hear Fishy's story about the Tariba, though. I hope it doesn't scare Boo and Peek too much. <laughs> Morning, Fishy. Morning, Apeek. I can't wait to hear your tiny first story. <laughs> uh, morning, Abu. Morning, Bumble. Morning, morning fishy. fishy. Make yourselves comfortable and I'll start. Great. A long time ago, when I was just a little fish in a very big pond, a tunnifa arrived one day. Or so I thought. It looked like a great big log. Wait a minute. I wouldn't be scared of a log. Maybe so. A tunnifa can look like many things. They can look like a log one minute, and the next, they can look like a lizard or a whale. And some tunnifa can fly through the air like a huge bird. Oh. Anyway, all the other fish in the pond were scared of the tunnifa too. So the chief fish of the pond decided that one of us would have to be very brave and tell the tunnifa to leave. He thought it should be the smallest fish in the pond because the tunnifa wouldn't see him coming. So who was the smallest fish? That was me, Peek. You had to tell the tunnifa to scram? Aye. You must have been frightened, Fishy. Aye, I was. But my mother came to me and she sung me the song. Don't be afraid to be frightened Or frightened of being afraid Everyone's frightened of something No matter what they say Don't let being scared get you worried Cause when all the worrying's done You'll see it's okay to be scared or afraid It happens to everyone Mataku kwe tēnā meki Oho wa wai a tāā e Ka mataku te katoa Ki nā mere re ke Don't let being scared get you worried Cause when all the worrying's done You'll see it's okay to be scared or afraid It happens to everyone Well, that night I went to bed nice and early So I could get up nice and early for my big adventure When morning came, I set off and... Oh no! Rain! Inside to the hive, everyone but we've just got to the good bit. Little Fishy's heading off to tell the big Tanifa to scram. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Pig. You take the path, and I'll take my tunnel, and I'll meet you in the hive and finish my story. Way, look out, to the hive we go. One child playing on a boogie board. One tahi. Two roa. Two children playing with beach balls. Two roa. Three toru. Three children building sand castles. Three toru. Four ba. Four children pretending to swim. Four ba. Five rima. 
five children eating ice cream. Yum! Five three months. Six uno. Six children playing leapfrog. Six uno. Seven pitu. Seven children resting. Seven pitu. Eight waru. Eight children waving seashells. Yay! Eight waru. Nine iwa. Nine children jumping and splashing. Nine iwa. Ten tako. Ten children wearing sunglasses. Ten tako. Even though tanipas are just made up creatures, they certainly are very exciting and scary. I wonder what happens next in Fishy's adventure. Do you think he frightened the tanipa away to make the pond safe again? So, you were the smallest fish in the pond. And you were chosen by the big fish to go and see the tanifa. To tell him to please go away. Aye, Karina, you've been listening well. Well, what happened next? Well... I quietly left the bottom of the pond and made my way to the surface through the gloomy light. When I got to the top of the pond, the tanifa was nowhere to be seen. It had vanished into thin air. Perhaps it was hiding. Or, or, or it had turned into a rock or a bird or something like that. Well, I didn't know what had happened to it. So I went back down to the bottom of the pond where all the other fish were waiting. Well, when I got there, there was a big surprise waiting for me. What was it, Fishy? Well, lying in the mud was the tanifa. It had fallen down there during the night. You see, this was not a tanifa at all. It was only a log of wood. My imagination had made me think it was a tanifa. Oh, I understand. Just like when we were outside last night. Your imaginations made you scared. There was nothing there at all. But why did the tanifa, I mean log, sink to the bottom of the pond? Oh, it got waterlogged. Is that right, Fishy? Aye, it got so full of water that it could no longer float. There was nothing to be afraid of after all. I bet all the other fish thought you'd been very brave. Aye, they did. Hooray for Fishy, they all shouted. Heranga tirakwe. You will be a great leader one day. And they were right. Pakarongo e hoa ma I te korero o te tanifa Listen well and take care And beware of the tanifa Beware the Tanifa's a tricky chap, he can change his shape While you take an apple as you sleep, he will come on by And he might frighten you in the twinkling of an eye But now and then he can be quite nice He'll help you out, not once but twice If your boat is sinking far out at sea He'll take you home in time for tea Pakarongo e hoa ma Ki te korero o te tanifa Listen well and take care And beware of the tanifa Beware Anyone for a midnight feast? But it's still morning Who cares? Let's eat A good idea Telling that Tanifa story has made us all very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that was the day in Kiwi Fruit Valley when Peek and Boo got scared on their midnight feast. But after Fishy told them his Tanifa story, they realised it was just their imaginations. 
So remember, if you feel afraid, don't be shy about telling someone else. You'll probably find that there was nothing to be afraid about in the first place. Just like Fishy did when he was little. No matter where you go today, no matter what you do, I believe that you are special. You believe it too.